If you have young voters out there, encourage them to vote. People say, what can I do about climate change? If we were talking about it, associating it with big storms like this, that would be really good. But the main thing is vote. Thank you. And Bill, very quickly, how much of an impact do you see climate change playing in all of these explanations that you've given us? uh, You know, how much do you see climate change as being a part of that? Oh, it's no question, everybody. Look, there's no in climate science. Everybody has been studying this for years. A paper's been written about how warm the ocean is uh, around uh, the Florida Peninsula. And it's this warm, warm water that is uh, driving these storms. A scientist who's skeptical about climate science, or at least about a lot of what passes for climate science, which would, of course, make him another crackpot conservative. Or not. He served as undersecretary of the Department of Energy in the Obama administration. Stephen Coonan on Uncommon Knowledge Now. Climate is really driven by the oceans. We have not very good data on the oceans. And to be able to specify the state of the ocean now and then know it 10 or 20, 30, 40 years from now is a much harder and difficult problem. So it's a grand computational challenge and we will develop technologies and learn techniques. We'll learn a lot that trying. Will, and, and will be helpful in, in other applications. Okay. Come CBS News this past May. Quote, scientists say climate change is making hurricanes worse. Close quote. Here's Kunin in Unsettled. Quote, hurricanes and tornadoes show no changes attributable to human influences. Well, what do you think you're doing taking on CBS? Well, you know, what science does CBS know? The media, if you'll excuse me, uh, is, um, gets their information from reporters who have no or very little scientific training. You mean you didn't graduate people from Caltech who went to work? Actually, the there's media? probably one or so, and okay. they do a good job. <laughs> All right. uh, they have a reporters on a climate beat uh, who have to produce stories. Uh, the more dramatic, the better. If it bleeds, it leads. And so you get that kind of stuff. I quote... When I say something about hurricanes, I quote right from the IPCC reports, and it doesn't say that at all. All right. Okay? Actually, the most recent report said it based on a paper which was subsequently corrected. So This is the UN now. Not the IPCC, but it is a UN uh, agency. Climate change is making record-breaking floods the new normal. Here's Steve Coonan in Unsettled. We don't know whether floods globally are increasing, decreasing, or doing nothing at all. Close quote. Well, what I would say is the UN needs to be consistent, and and they should check their press release against the IPCC reports before they say anything. All right. right? Again, when I wrote Unsettled, I tried very hard to stick with the gold standard, which was the IPCC report at the time or the subsequent research literature. And I had available to me, when I wrote the book, only the fifth assessment report, which came out in 2014. As we've discussed, the sixth assessment report came out about a year ago, and I'm proud to say there's essentially nothing in there now that needs to be changed. Climate change threatens world's food supply, United Nations warns. And here's Steve Coonan, and unsettled agricultural yields have surged during the past century, even as the globe has warmed. And projected price impacts of future human-induced climate changes through 2050 should hardly be noticeable among ordinary market dynamics, close quote. Not what I said, but what the IPCC said. Okay, so, so it's you're, you're seeing CBS, this game of telephone. It, Look, but, I can take current media, right? and almost any climate story I can write, I think, a very effective counter. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, <laughs> all right? And I've, got, I've actually gotten to the point where I say, oh, no, not another one. Do I have to do that, too? So it, this is endemic to a media that is ill-informed and has an agenda to, send, to set. And what is their agenda? The agenda is to promote alarm and uh, induce governments to decarbonize. I think that probably the primary agenda is to get clicks and eyeballs. Right. Um, okay. but, and, you know, there are organizations. It's, it's wonderful. There's an organization called Covering Climate Now, which is a nonprofit membership organization. It's got The Guardian. And it's got various other media, NPR, I believe. And their mission is to promote the narrative. They will not allow anything to be broadcast or written that is counter to the narrative. The narrative that the, 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 the we've, already broken, narrative. we've already broken the climate and we're the heading for now, et cetera. Right. Okay.